Welcome back to George Lorimer Plays Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, the end of the last episode, we... I stopped the recording before I showed all the unlocks that came uh, after the like ending cutscene played. Um, so I just wanted to go over those. I unlocked Cain. I think also Judas, although I don't see him in the list. Um, the Womb. The Four Horsemen. And Cube of Meat, which is... That's an excellent set of unlocks. So th that's what it, it told me after uh, I stopped recording. So that's what we'll... We maybe we'll run into some of that today. Uh, we're going to do a new run. Maybe... So we have Maggie, Kane, and Isaac. Why don't we... Let's, uh, let's go hard. Let's play Kane. I like Kane. I like stronger characters with less HP. Even I, you know, I, even Judas. Kane is fast now. Starts with 1.3 speed, huh? Oop. That was awesome. An excellent start. You gotta not let the game get you in that way. Didn't lose any chance for a deal with the devil. There's a very good chance we'll find a red heart on this floor. It's not a big deal. It's very easy to get disheartened and just reset. Especially when you then get a not very good item like the purple fly. Still hoping for that red heart. half. Feels like Kane's range range is less than it used to be. I've never fought this guy before. I shouldn't have skipped the name. It's like Plumfly or something? Whoa. Cool. So that's not super hard to avoid. It's just all cardinal directions. Oh! There's our first death. First loss. Streak of two, gone. Let's try again. I like the speed upgrade that Kane got. I think it sort of makes up for the loss of uh, shot shot speed or I think it's range. Um, definitely makes him a more challenging character. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that was always how Kane was, but um, the speed the speed definitely helps you helps you get in close and then get get away before you can get hit. Halo of Flies is a very good item. It uh, doesn't do any damage, but protects you from shots, and two orbitals protection is uh, very valuable, especially early on. If we get um, a cube of meat or something, that means we have three orbitals worth of protection. We're basically half covered at any given time. The Duke is not a hard enemy. Pretty, uh, doesn't have much HP, but, uh, if you don't have good shot speed, I mean, tears rate, um, it can take a really long time because you've got all these flies getting in your way. Of course, lots of damage would be good too, but, uh, four and a half is not quite enough to make a big difference so you have to just be patient it can it, you can get carried away and 
lose patience and get hit by the flies. It's not not worth it, you know. Um, we're just going for regular, you know, whatever unlocks. Don't think trying to get boss rush. I'm not worried about boss rush. I don't play particularly fast, so when I go for boss rush unlock, like doing doing boss rush, I usually have to sort of be trying from the very beginning. Although we are at two and a half minutes, so we're still ahead of schedule. You, you can get to boss rush with, uh, I think, three minutes per floor. That leaves you plenty of time. Curse of the Blind on floor two is like not my my idea of a fun day. And then getting hit by spiders on the first floor, first room. Um, I guess I don't care if our devil deal chance goes down though, because I'm not gonna take anything on Curse of the Blind. Ooh. Well, there we go. Let's try again, again. Same layout as last time. Oh, Kane starts with a key too. That's nice. And luck foot. Oh, come on. This game has gotten harder. That is for sure. Oh, this item? I saw Northern Lion play with this item with Bethany, so it was... it created, like, a wheel of wisps. What does it do? I think you have to hold space and it turns you into like a spinning top of death. Uh, what? <laughs> you move faster, it spins around, and charge goes away. I wonder, does it, do I not take any damage? Mm, apparently not. That's pretty cool. I wonder, this is the right floor to try this on. I wonder if I don't take any damage from, like, going in the curse room. Let's find out. Uh, no, you still do. <laughs> Since there's two, I'm going to take this pill. Great. Free exit from the curse room, now I have a power pill. Pretty good outcome. Uh, it's a pretty great item. Seven cent blue map would be nice. Don't think I'm gonna end up with enough money. Mmm, okay. Doesn't make you invincible. Uh, I don't know why I haven't taken any damage up till that point, though. Does it just make you faster? And since it's I don't know. I wonder if it speeds up your other orbitals. Would it be better if I had cube with me? It seems like I can only... I only don't take damage if I make contact with the top and bounce off. But if I touch them with my body, I get hurt. Oh, I can do it. That is what you want to see at the end of the first floor, for sure. Alright. Uh, in addition to those soul hearts, the... Oh no, that's it. Where is the secret room? Probably... South of the first... Of this room? I already went in the cursed room. I don't care. Let's go. Health all the way up, extra heart, and a bunch of soul hearts at the end of the first floor is, like, pretty sweet. 
That was very dangerous. I should have just been patient. Yeah, see, you can take damage. I don't know what this thing is useful for, then. I mean, it's useful for Bethany, that's for sure. I think I'll save my bomb. If I get more bombs, I'll come back for those chests. Oh, the cube of meat, guys. I don't like these meat guys. They're so hard, you have to, you know what? Power pill. Perfect. Okay, let's see if my uh, diagonal game is still good. You can walk through spikes diagonally if you press both keys at exactly the right time. Justice is great. Sad Onion. You gotta take Sad Onion. That's a Tears Up. It's a very good Tears Up. I don't know, is this a good run for the top? I, I got hit by those flies before. Mm. I'm ashamed to have taken so much damage. But I did tell you, I'm not very good at this game. I've only got several hundred hours in it. And I'm not patient. Okay, so the top does block shots too, that's nice. I don't I don't really know what it's what it's good for, like I don't know it's, it goes so fast it's really hard to time. Good as a no. Nope. You don't bounce off if you're not going fast, so it's not really. It's fine as a regular orbital. You just got to be as careful as you normally would be. Oh, the Duke again, and with this giant. Diflecty fly. Duke is good to play bombs against too. Yeah. See, doesn't have much HP. You can get a bomb in there, good. It'll work out. What is this? Chewing gum? Booster pack. Oh, a bunch of cards. Joker card is very nice. Question mark card is fine. Two of spades. Might as well. Magician, tower. What is question mark double active? What does that do with this? <gasps> is that permanent? Unfortunately not. Uh, Brother Bobby is a bad familiar, so... No thanks. Let's see if I can get an angel deal. I don't think I've been in the angel room since I got repentance. Labyrinth on the third floor. Not ideal. Means that's when you have your lowest chance for deal for a deal with uh, whoever to have a devil angel. Um, so it's not great. Although it does guarantee a 100% chance at the beginning of the next floor, which would normally be the fifth floor. I don't think that's worth it yet. And we have a Joker card, I, I forgot already. So, Joker means that if we, ah, come on, if we don't get our deal this floor, we can still get a de deal with the devil. Or maybe the angel? Is Joker card just whatever it would normally have been? Like, do, do we have an equal chance to get devil or angel on this one? I don't know. I don't like Liberty Cap. It changes, without warning, it changes your speed or your shots, shot speed? Maybe fire rate? Um, it gives you a different mushroom effect every room. So sometimes you get mini mush and you get faster and you're not expecting it. Or sometimes you get uh, skinny odd mushroom or, or fat odd mushroom and like your tier rate goes down or up or whatever and your damage goes down. I find it to be very difficult to predict and it gets me into trouble. 
Uh, so far it hasn't. I'm only keeping it because I haven't seen what it does in Repentance. The butter bean has appeared. Just have to break so many poops, huh? Butter bean is just a reusable... It's an active item that gives you like a little bit of knockback and maybe some poison. I don't think I like any of the bean items. Yeah, see, so I have more speed and more shot speed now. I think because I had mini mush in that room. I guess it can give you magic mush also, and that's fine. Now I have higher tears rate and damage down, so that's skinny odd mushroom. Oh, Ebe. Well, deal with the devil is gone. Push you into the fire? Come on. Come on. That was my own fault. Yeah. Definitely getting rid of the mushroom here. Liberty cap. Just uh, totally ruined that room. Changed all my stats and made me like not know how to play it. This is when you... Oh, trap chest. I heard that they were harder to spot in this game. I think it has a little bit of blood on it somewhere. And that's how you know. They used to be much easier. It, it was easy to see. Uh, that it was... It, you could see the spikes. Seriously, where is anything on this floor? That's nice. Two free bombs. Can I have an item room, please? Where is the item? Oh, it's, it's Curse of the Labyrinth. They're probably like... The two item rooms are like close to each other. Well, this might be our, you know. I'm not feeling great about our chances on this one either. Maybe I shouldn't be playing Kane yet. Although my stats are better.